guys, it's Allie and welcome to Wednesday's Take and Make Crafts with the Rapid City Public Library. Today we're going to be making haunted house circuit cars. We're going to be learning a little bit about, about electricity and how we can make a little light bulb light up with a battery. So let's take a look at what we have in our Take and Make kits and get started today. In your Take and Make kit, you should have a haunted house circuit card, some copper tape, two LED light bulbs, and a battery. Our first step is to color your haunted house on the outside of the card. So you can color your haunted house whatever color you want. You can add some pumpkins, you can add a scarecrow, you can add anything you like on here. I'm going to skip that step and move to our next step, which is to, on the outside of our card, we're going to take one of our LED light bulbs and on the outside of their card, we're going to insert our LED light bulb into the small holes in the window of the haunted house, making sure to put the shorter negative prong. You can see one prong is shorter than the other. We're going to put the shorter prong on the left hand side, in the left hand hole. So we'll just stick that through. So again, the shorter prong is on the left side and the longer prong is on the right side. And we'll just get both of those through those holes and push it all the way through. And then on the inside of your card, bend the prongs at a 90 degree angle along those copper lines to secure it. There we go. Next, we're going to open up our batteries. And you'll see your battery has a plus on one side and the other side is the negative side. So make note of which side has the plus sign on it. Place the battery in the circle indicated on the diagram with the positive side, the plus side, up. Next we're going to carefully peel some copper tape from its adhesive and lay it down tracing all of the copper lines in the circuit diagram. We want to attach the copper tape to our LED light bulb prongs where the diagram indicates wrapping the copper tape around each prong or just laying it on top of it. So I'm going to start cutting my copper tape, measuring it out and cutting it. This stuff is real sticky and likes to curl on itself so it's good to cut it shorter when you're putting it down. Okay, so that's completely covering that negative prong. Now we want the copper tape to attach to the top of our battery from the left hand side. just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing around the other side, except I'm going to leave a gap right here. So remember, we're only putting copper tape on the copper lines.
go. And just a few more pieces of copper tape. Now over here, we want the copper tape to come underneath the battery. So attach the copper tape connected to the positive side on the top. And on the, on the other side of the battery, place the copper tape under the battery. So I'm just gonna flip my battery over really quick. Place that right there. And remember, we're leaving that gap. So now I can put my battery back. Now we need to place a piece of copper tape on the line on this side of the card. This will act as our switch. So right now when the card is open, the switch is off. But if we close the card, and if everything lines up correctly, our switch turns on. When our switch is on, we have a complete closed circuit. So all of these copper parts are touching each other and making a complete closed circuit, allowing the electricity to travel in a full circle from the battery to the light bulb. Thanks for joining me as we made our haunted house circuit cards that light up in the window. You can pick up a take and make kit from the children's desk or at the drive through here at the library. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date with all of our latest crafts and everything like that. And we hope to see you next week for the next take and make craft with the Rapid City Public Library. Thanks guys. Have a great day. Bye.